this is all I have for my feet but I do have this part which I don't use so I can use that so I'm going to scrape some of this off just a little whoa I'm making a total mess and you can do as much as you want I think that that's fine okay so you're gonna see here what I'm talking about you see I scrape some of the um, eyeshadow and then I'm gonna get my Vaseline I don't know can you use anything else like let me know down below if you saw a post just like this but they use something else besides maybe you can use coconut oil I mean I heard coconut oil is really good for you so so jeez I have this right here that I don't use this little thing right here and I'm gonna scrape some some like probably this much maybe a little bit more it depends on how much I want on my in my pan you know this thing and boom this is a messy job it's all right it's probably worth that at the end oh okay. Get in there, get in there. See guys? Vaseline. <clears throat> Eyeshadow. And I'm gonna just whip this up. Jeez, it looks amazing. I like it. I wanna know if this is safe on the eyes so like the eyelid. Hmm, let me know down below if anyone out there use Vaseline like anywhere towards your eye because I want to try this on my eyelid but I'm scared now if I want it more darker I can go with more of the eyeshadow but I'm gonna leave it at that for now let me bring y'all back up here whoa this is cool like it's so simple it is messy so yeah be prepared for that now I'm gonna swatch this hmm You also have to remember, it's a jelly. Um, it's Vaseline, so if you put something like this, you're going to might see like street marks, meaning it's not going to be even, which it looks good here. Like, I'm not going to lie, it looks good. And I want to try some on my lips. You see, it is light because it's not super dark. And that seems good for your lips anyway. So this is a plus. When I saw this post, it was only for the lips. So I'm like pushing it if it can be good for the eyes, which I'm not sure. Which, you know me, I like to wear lip gloss a lot. So this is good because it feels like a lip gloss with color. So I think I'm going to just leave it at that. I don't want to push it and use it for my eyes. If you know any tricks that I could do, you know, I can use for the eyes. Like make any of my shadows like a cream consistency that I can use for my eyes. Let me know. Uh, I don't think I would use this for my eyes for real. Because it's greasy. 
I'm already oily. So I think I'm gonna. Mm-hmm. This is great, guys. You need to try it. I'm gonna use of all of my little packs that I just fell. And I'm gonna use up. Oh. Mm. I like it, guys. I wanna make this a little darker, but I will later. I like this. This is hot. Let me get a wipe because my hands. Okay, guys. So that is the trick. If you know any tricks out there, it doesn't matter. It can be for bronzer. It can be for anything. A highlighter. Anything. Let me know down below because, you know, I'm open to anything. This right here is amazing. Let me bring it close up to the light so you can definitely see it. Eyeshadow and Vaseline, guys. And it gives you this. And if you want more darker, just add more of your shadow. Or you can even mix shadow at that. If you can make up your own color, which is amazing. I like this, guys. I really do. I'm glad I saw that post. I like it. Also, too, this post right here, I definitely posted on my Facebook. I have a group on Facebook. So if you want to follow me on that group, you need to follow me on uh, Facebook and send me a message saying that you want to follow my group and you could. And I always post like different hacks and stuff like that, makeup related, different looks and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Um, yeah, you can also share. Take care, guys. Bye. Hey, everyone. Okay, now I did my little my little creation, my own little DIY. Now you saw in the video that you can take any eyeshadow and mix it with some Vaseline. Those are the two ingredients you need. Like it can be an eyeshadow, it can be um, a highlighter, it can even be a bronzer. It can be anything that has color that is a powder. That has color and put it inside your Vaseline and I actually did three right here now the first one you saw um, I did this was the Jeffree Star the Beauty Killer palette and this was the brightest color the pink one there um, as you can see the more powder you put um, the more brighter it looks and the middle one right here this is a, uh, a highlighter this is actually a pink highlighter. Now, it looks pink somewhat, um, but I don't even have a wipe here. Ooh. But, um, you know, when you add like a cream, it can just, you know, mess things up. And then the bottom as well is blue, but yeah, it's like a, like a bluish, greenish uh, one of the Wet n Wild highlighters. If I can open this. As you can see. It might look like a mess. Of course you can fix it. You know make it nice and neat. I was looking. You know around. Different videos at um, in YouTube. And some people. Were using. Coconut oil. Um, now coconut oil. Is more of a liquid. Um, not something thick like um, the Vaseline. So I don't recommend that, you know, to put in your eyes. Another one I saw, I thought it was very strange. Um, the Garnier, there's like a spray bottle um, of Garnier that you can, it's for the eye, it's for the hair um, and for your face, your skin. Um, which I thought that was weird because Garnier is known for their hair products. So I actually got that spray bottle and it's an oil, um, a spray oil. And I didn't even know so you can actually put that on your face. So if it's for your face, it's safe for your eyes, your, your lids, um, and your lips. 
Um, and she did that. She put a whole bunch of powder and she sprayed some of the spray. And since it's a liquid, it made it more runny. So you can add more, um, more powder. Um, yeah, I definitely want to try that. I want to try different, you know, different ways, but I did three. So I want to swatch these three for you. Um, I did it yesterday so let's get oh my god this looks amazing Kyle, oh my god. if you are the type of person that like lip gloss you would definitely like this um so let's swatch this baby here look at that that looks amazing i like this this is the one that i tried on as you can see now I'm going to try one of the pink highlighters this is so cool <gasps> whoa look at that this is a highlighter we can put on your lips and then also you can get the actual powder highlighter that you use to scrape and just dab some on. You can do that. Oh, that looks so nice. Now I'm going to try the blue one. The blue one looks really, really nice. If you're not the type of person that don't like lip gloss, then this is not for you because this is how it feels like a lip balm, you know, lip gloss. 